Photoshop is the most famous image processing software. In this video, I'll show you how to get started quickly and easily in just 5 minutes. To create a new file, select File, New File, or press Ctrl N. To open a file, choose File, Open, or press Ctrl O, or simply drag the file into the program. From this window, you can change the name, size, or resolution. A checkerboard is used to mark transparency. The first thing you see when you open Photoshop is the interface, specifically the work area, the big space in the middle, that's where the magic happens. The toolbar, that's where all the tools are. Click and hold on any of them to see a menu with all others. The menu bar is at the top, that's where you change parameters divided into categories. The options bar shows the values of the selected instrument. If it is a type tool, only its parameters will be active. Status bar, click and hold to see more information about the file. Size, resolution, color profile. The panels provide quick access to various functionalities. To save space, you can combine them. By default, we see only a few, but you can easily show and hide the rest. Full list in the window menu. The most important panel is layers. With layers, you can work precisely on individual parts of the image. Click here or press Ctrl Shift N for a new layer or Ctrl J to create a copy. If you want to merge layers, select Merge from the right click menu. Easily group individual layers using Ctrl G or right click Group. Double click the background to make it a layer. If you want to transform a layer, Edit, Transform or Ctrl T. Right click and you will see a menu with the most common commands. Hold Shift and this will keep the aspect ratio. And holding Ctrl will move each corner individually. If you want to rotate, move the mouse until those arrows appear. Enter to confirm, escape to cancel the changes. This icon indicates that the layer is not rasterized. To do this, choose Rasterize from the menu or layer Rasterize if you want to paint on the layer, for example. One of Photoshop's most powerful tools are selections. Use them to select individual parts of your workspace. Marquee makes rectangular or elliptical selections and the lasso lets you make custom shapes. Ctrl C to copy the selection and Ctrl V to paste it in another document. To adjust brightness, contrast or colors, go to Image, Adjustments and select from there. The shortcut for hue and saturation is Ctrl U. Hue is the value of the color, saturation is its percentage density, and lightness is the amount of reflected light. Ctrl L will display the levels window, and Ctrl M the curves window. These two are most commonly used to adjust light, medium or dark tones. If you are not sure, you can always use auto colors from the image menu. To make an image negative, press Ctrl I. To add text, use Type Tool or Ctrl T. To edit text, double click between letters and from here change font, size, color or alignment. In Photoshop, you have a wide range of filters, such as Sharpen or Blur. These are found in the Filter menu. Styles are also commonly used. Drop Shadow, Glow or Emboss can be added from this icon. Double click FX icon if you want to change the values. The eye in front of each effect turns it on or off. Each style can be copied. Right click here, copy layer style and again in the target paste layer style. To remove already applied style, select clear layer style. Ctrl Z will undo the last action and Ctrl Alt Z will undo the last few. Masks are an integral part of the program. Create a mask on a layer by clicking on this icon. Select brush or Ctrl B and paint with white to show or with black to hide from the image. Square brackets change the size of the brush. Press X to quickly switch between the two primary colors. Double clicking will select a different color and using the eyedropper select one from the screen. If you like to erase, your tool is the eraser or Ctrl E. To save what you've created, File Save or File Save As. Besides the location, you can also change the file format. Whenever you need to save individual layers, choose PSD or TIFF. This was the Photoshop Essentials explained in 5 minutes by me, Rosen Dukov. 
subscribe to the PS How channel for more tips and tutorials.